Okay, um, our game is called uh, Library Spy. Um, the intention of the game is to basically have students um, investigate all of the library resources that we have available. So they'll start off with um, a small uh, basic task sheet, well, which will tell them what Library Spy is. So it will basically tell them that they'll need to go around collecting all the clues and one clue will lead to the next clue area. So what we'd start off with is we'd give them a picture of a place in the library um, with a clue in that area. So they would go to that area, find the clue, I've called it clue one, and on the back of that clue it will tell them basically where to go next. So in this instance uh, the, um, uh, the students will need to find a book and they'll need to find it by using a library catalogue. Then when they find that book, inside the front cover will be the next clue. Um, sometimes it will lead them to another location, sometimes it will lead them to a uh, text within the book. So what we're going to uh, do sometimes is basically get them to uh, formulate sort of like um, a, a phrase um, by using code that we, uh, that we give to them. So it might be an ISBN number, again, library specific, so um, they can use that to search the library catalogue to find the next clue. And as they go through maybe three or four tasks, as they're finding each clue, they will also uh, make up a phrase and once they complete it, they'll discover the phrase, come back to us, and we can basically give them congratulations. So they would have used um, different library resources, so the clues will lead them to uh, books, uh, e-books, journals, and when they find those particular resources, there will be clues leading them on to the next place. So that's it.